guys welcome back armando here with you today today we are going to be reviewing kc knives my friend kevin cox canadian knife maker okay this guy is absolutely phenomenal you guys are going to love this we're going to be reviewing today a model that he created for me that's called the king fisher it is just a hunting knife all right let's go ahead and jump over to the bench cam and get this puppy started see you over there thanks a lot check this out this is the latest creation that i got from him this is basically your typical hunting knife okay because why you hunters that are out there and people that are in the know of course you know that after you go through let's say uh a couple of bucks after skinning them your knife that you currently have Chances are nine out of 10 is probably toast, right? Just gonna come out and say it from personal experience. It's probably done, it's gone. Now you either gotta go find yourself another blade or you gotta go out there and take it to your local, uh, you know, knife center, if you will, people that sharpen them for you to have that thing redone. That could be timely and it could be expensive. So what's the difference with this knife here? Well, Kevin's been at this game for a long time, woodsman from Canada. All right, uh, he, he, he knows what he's doing. All right, so here, this is the absolute baddest freaking skinner, okay, that I, I'm telling you I, I've ever seen. Th this thing is just insane. So, word has it that after going through two bucks with this bad boy right here, you're still probably good for another one or two. Just saying, all right? Haven't been there yet, but... I'm getting close. So, this one here is called the King Fisher. All right, that's what we're going to be reviewing today. The King Fisher overall length is nine and a half inches from stem to stern. Okay, right here. Look at that. The blade is four and a half, four and a quarter actually inches long. The handle is five inches which makes it, you know, the overall nine and a half. Now, the heel is one and three-eighths inch. The thickness on this is 0 0.105. The steel is Magna Cut. Okay, this is Magna Cut right here, as you can see. And of course, the case is just your, your Kydex case that he includes belt loop for one and a half inch uh, a one and a half inch belt. You can adjust the cant on this if you really need to, but I thought that this was a very, very nice addition, you know, that can, uh, Kevin provides, you know, when he builds a knife for you. All right. I'll be posting some pictures here of some other stuff that he's done. So you guys can enjoy that as well. So back to the knife. Uh, you know, the only thing that I must tell you about this one, since it, since it is a Skinner, all right, is this little known fact that uh, Kevin was gracious enough to share with me. Uh, this is a hunting knife, meaning this is to skin skin and to cut meat. That's it. If you're looking to go outdoors and maybe do some bushcraft work, you know, uh, some firewood cutting, uh, something outside of skinning and cutting meat, this is not your guy, okay? The blade on this is a lot thinner than everything else that he makes, okay? And this sucker is, can I tell you, I could probably shave with this thing, right? But I'm not going to, but I'm just saying you probably could. Uh, the handle on here, I asked him, I said, Kevin, you know, what is something that is going to stand the test of time? What is something that is, uh, could be handed down as an heirloom? And that's going to be really, really uh, up to the challenge or up to the task, if you will, in weather conditions. And I want something that's made out of wood. He suggested to me, he said, go with ironwood. That's what this is right here. And as you can tell, let me see if I can get a closer up here so you can get a better look at it. This is ironwood. Like I said, the colors on this thing is just insane. This video here does not do any justice to the way that this handle looks. Okay, if you put this sucker outside in the sunshine, 
All right, you can see these actual colors come to fruition and it is an absolute beauty. One other thing about this knife, you're gonna notice right here, and I've talked about this before on other knife reviews, this baby right here is full tang, okay? Which says a lot about the quality of this knife, okay? You want something that is full tang, you don't want something that is like up to here, you know, and just short and it's cheap. You'll find that typically in your Chinese made crap, you know, hence why I don't buy it. The other thing that you're going to notice here, let me see if I can flip this around and show it to you on the bench cam right here. Uh, he lasers in his, uh, his brand, his logo, if you will, here also as well, which I thought was a great, beautiful addition here. Looks very, very nice. Um, this is the Kingfisher, okay? Hunting knife from Casey Knives. Kevin Cox, I'm going to leave links in the description down below so you can hit them up if you are in the market to get yourself a really, really, really good blade. Also as well, if you are interested in getting any of your knives sharpened by a true professional, you need to hit up my friend Donnie Davis, hashtag Donnie sent me, okay, for Wicked Edge. A wicked edge on your knife. That's what he calls it. That's what he does. I have sent him in the past a lot of my knives. I've gotten them back in a very, very fast turnaround time. And I'm telling you, everything he sent back to me, I could literally shave with. That's just how, how you know, how sharp they come out and how long it lasts, which is something else that blew me away. I mean, it is just insane quality. Donnie Davis, hashtag again, Donnie sent me for a wicked edge on your knives. He'll do kitchen cutlery. He'll do whatever it is that you have. And, and he'll go ahead and, you know, take care of you in that sense. I'm going to leave links also in the description below for Donnie's Instagram. Kevin is going to be down there also as well. KC Knives. You can hit him up also on his Facebook page. He has a presence there. And then you can link over to his website. All right. He is from Canada. Canadian quality. Canadian built to withstand the Canadian elements, especially when you're out there looking for elk moose, you know, and things along those lines, you know that you're going to have a badass knife. Check them out. Casey Knives. Kevin, thank you very much for providing me with this. It will not be the last one. I promise you that. So there you have it, guys. Casey Knives brought to you by today by Pew Pew Nation TV. We got a lot of good things coming to the channel. Uh, check me out. And again, if you're getting value out of this video, please do me a favor, smash that like button, share with everybody you know, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click that activation bell. So that way, anytime I put one of these videos out, you'll get an instant notification and you can stay up to date. Also, just wanted to tell you all this. Go ahead and check out Jeff Davis over at Freedom to Think on his channel, give him a like, a share, and a follow also as well. I know for a fact, those of you that watch me and know me, we are going to be doing another collaboration for Tom McDonald's latest drop on um, Dirty Money. That's right, Dirty Money. It's coming. And it is doing absolutely phenomenal on the charts right now. I'm closely following that. So there you have it. With that, let's get back over to the main cam and we'll go ahead and get us out of here. Thanks for watching.
guys, thanks for watching today. Uh, just some real quick announcement because there's been some changes and some updates, you know, here to the channel. And here's another surprise for you. So I have just created and launched a new platform, rnewsworld.com. Rnewsworld.com. Links are in the description down below. This is a brand new uh, opportunity that I was given to join some really, really good people on a fantastic platform. And the reason being it's because it's completely uncensored. That's right. So any material that is not allowed here on YouTube that does not meet their community standards or guidelines will now be made available over on that platform. Again, the link is down below for our news world. Dot com. Please head on over there when you get a chance and go ahead and uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, and just check it out. All the content that is out there right now on YouTube is also available over there, plus some more. Next thing here is the radio show is now officially gone. That's right. Radio show is gone. It's now going to transition over to a video format and it will only be made available on ournewsworld.com. Why? Again, uncensored so you guys can get, you know, and uh, take advantage to really, really, really juicy stuff because it's coming. Trust me on that. After that, just know that Rumble is officially now gone also as well. I didn't see the need and continue doing that. Uh, you know. There's another thing here that I just wanted to mention really quick. You know, uh, as always, guys, if you're getting value out of this, please like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend. We're trying to blaze a trail to 5,000 subscribers by July of this year. Please help me out with this, man. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you would like to support the channel, you can check over down below to the right on the artwork. You can uh, go ahead and buy me a coffee. It's available. Patreon's available as well. Or if you want to just go ahead and say, hey, man, I just want to go ahead and join the membership here on your channel on PPA Nation TV. Just click that join button down below. Pick whatever option you want that's there. I've downgraded it to make it affordable to everybody. And we'd love to have you. And finally, you can check me out on Discord. Okay, come on over and hang out. You know, you can ask questions. I'm there a lot lately. <laughs> All right. Link in the description down below also as well. And with that... First and foremost, God bless you guys. Thank you for being here. Keep your head on the swivel. Keep your powder dry. And we will catch you on the next one. See ya.